This video explains how to add a different line to each facet of a ggplot2 facet plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create an example data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data frame contains 6 rows and 3 columns whereby the first two columns x and y are numeric columns and the third column which is called group is a group indicator. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data in a ggplot2 facet plot. Then we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to draw our data in a ggplot2 plot as you can see in lines 9 to 11. So after running these lines of code, a new blot object called ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this blot to the bottom right by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a ggplot2 facet blot containing three different facets. Now let's assume that we want to draw different lines to some of these facets. Or more precisely, we want to draw a line to the facet A and another line to the facet C and both of these lines should be horizontally aligned. Then we first need to create a data frame which contains these information for the plot later on. And we can do that as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data set called data H line is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains three rows, so one row for each of the groups in our data set. And then it contains the value 3 for the group A, the value NA for the group B, because in this group we don't want to show a line, and the value 5 for the group C. Now in the next step, in lines 18 to 20 of the code, we can use our plot object ggp that we have created before. And then we have to add to this the geomh line function in order to draw horizontal lines. And within this function we need to specify our h line data that we have created before. And then we also need to specify within the aesthetics that we want to draw our lines according to the h line column in our h line data set. So if you run lines 18 to 20 of the code you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated and this time we have drawn a horizontal line at the position 3 to the facet A and at the position 5 to the facet C. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.